Okay, here is my topic. Uh, the title is Sun Science, and it's basically I will a uh, little bit um, talk about firstly about the development of the uh, photovoltaic based uh, solar power and microgeneration, and then I have some experiences uh, on my own installation in La Peranta. I will present it and give some some ideas how it ha ha has worked. Uh, here is uh, one graph. It's based on uh, statistics and some experiments, and it tells uh, in Finnish electricity price. It's the whole, whole the blue curve is the wholesale price, the the price that customer pays for the electricity, including transmission costs and taxes and so on. And then there are two estimate curves. Uh, how uh, and they it they are given by European Photovoltaic Industry Association and they try to estimate the interval in the European area, how the price of the, uh, price of the electricity generated by PV systems is developing. And th then there are two, um, this, there is year 2012, and then there are two, three pilot, two pilot installations in Lappeenranta area. One is mine and the other one is Ollis, and, and we estimated the cost cost of the produced electricity by, by those systems. And of course, it includes our, our own work, but we can say that we are below those curves. So practically, if I am now able to use the energy that I produce with my PV set, I pay less than from the electricity bought, uh, that I buy from the distrib distribution network. And then one thing that uh, firstly surprise, surprises most people, because there is general myth that sun doesn't shine in Finland, so PV and solar generation is its not feasible way to do ele make generate electricity. But basically, we are almost as good place for solar PV generation, like like Germany, which which is now the world's <coughs> like, la largest market for the PV electricity. We have a little bit different distribution of production. In, during the summer time we have more production and during the winter time we have less production. But basically we have only four months that are, that are not feasible. But also during the winter time we get some, some energy from the sun. And here is one graph from Germany. Uh, it was uh, in several publications um, on June, and this is the electricity production in Germany on May 2012. And as you can see, the yellow one there, it is photovoltaic-based electricity production, and, and during the weekend, it, it may re uh, maximally it may produce even 40% of the whole electricity use in Germany. And as you can see, this, this development has happened in practically in six years. And it's mostly done by normal people that have built up, uh, built up uh, PV systems on their roofs and uh, mostly on their roofs. Of course, they are big systems, but, but there are also very, very many smaller ones. So it's, it's already very significant in Germany. But of course, this, how, why this has happened is happened because of subsidies and feed-in tariffs. But on the other hand, this feed-in ta tariff system has driven the prices of the PV systems very low in, in the whole world. So the, it has enabled enough the technology, technological development. So, and there is one modeling. This is actually uh, by source code given by Mikko Purhonen. And I, in this case, I modeled what, what it would like in Finland if we had 4,000 megawatts of peak power photovoltaic peak power uh, installed on the lap, in the Lappeenranta region. And basically, as you can see, this is May electricity production in May. And as you can see, the photovoltaic uh, generation quite nicely smoothens the, um, the load required by other uh, electricity generation required by other, other generation methods. So it's basically quite good for, for distribution network. And if we would install this 4,000 megawatts of peak power, it would mean that 
if we have 1.25 million houses, so each house would have about 20, 20 25 square truck meters of photovoltaic cell pa panels on their roofs. So currently I have about 20. Then to the efficiency of uh, electricity conversion. In Finland we say that we have biomass and we will use biomass. But basically, if we consider the efficiency of the electricity generation, uh, we, can, we can have, for example, one, one in, in Lappeenranta region, one hectare of solar PV panels corresponds more than 300 hectares of, 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 uh, well, uh, of forest that grows about 10 cubic meters per hectare per year. So the conversion efficiency of the PV cells compared to photo conversion efficiency of the uh, photosynthesis is much higher in Finland. Because we have so many uh, limitations for the growth of the biomass. We have winter, we have cold, cold weather. And for, but on the other, for other hand, for the PV generation, we don't have such a much limitations. And on the other hand, we have even efficiency, which is dur even during the growth season much higher. Then to the uh, grid connected so solar panel systems. Here is the basic, basic structure of the, of the grid tight PV system. Uh, it's basically the solar panels they are normally installed on the roofs. Then there is in and they produ produce DC electricity. And then the, it, is, it is converted by inverted AC electricity and it's fed to the distrib to distribution network of the house. So it works in parallel with the distribution system. And then you have meter, which meters the flow of the energy to both directions. And when you have surplus production, you will feed the surplus to the distribution network. And when you are, you are not producing, you will draw more power. You will draw power from the distribution network. And actually, this inverter takes care of all the protection and all the synchronization and, and also, also of the maximization of the power that you can get from the PV panels. So it's very simple. Uh, here is a picture of my installation. It's actually the first one in Lappeenranta first grid connected solar power system. Uh, there are two, actually two sets. I first installed the first one, it's the one on left, and then the, then the second one, it's, it's the one on right. And uh, totally there are about 20 square truck meters. And, and, I, and in general, uh, they should produce about about 2.5 megawatt hours per year. So it's about half of my electricity, electricity consumption, yearly consumption. So it's quite little, actually, that you can get half of your electricity consumption. Of course, I have a district heating system, but, but it's not actually much area. Here's one couple of pictures of installation. The installation is very easy. You basically, in my case, you can just take the tiles off, put, connect, uh, put some plywood under the roof, and then put connectors, and then, then the profiles and the panels are, are connected to profiles. And approximately, well, this one, this, the whole connect, the whole installation work of my system, it took about one, one day. So not much for amateurs. Here is the complete installation. On the left, there is this inverter that converts the DC, DC electricity to AC electricity. Then the, there is safety switch or safety connect, disconnector. And this rounded one, there is this web box, and you can see how it works. Works. It's in the uh, in internet. There are actually currently four plants in this. Is, um, service provided by SMA, and there are actually currently there are 80, 
5,000 plants or something registered in this service and only four in Finland. So we are some kind of uh, develop, developing nation in solar power. So as you can see, this is very simple and quite fast to install. Then some production data. Uh, this is from June. Actually, this June wasn't very good. I think that uh, this year. Um, actually, I think that uh, uh, May w ha May was better for uh, solar PV production. And as you can see, it produces from two three kilowatt kilowatt hours per day to twenty about the system. And for the whole June, I got production three hundred seventy six kilowatt hours. And then there is one, one day around it, I will show you a distribution, how it, the production is di distributed within a day. The sixth, uh, uh, no, it should be eight, um, eight six, no, it's, I have, it's wrong day there, but, and, uh, but I got anyway 15 kilowatt hours on that day. Here is the distribution for one day. As you can see, because we have quite long um, day, uh, daylight, time of daylight on summertime, so I got uh, production for, for, for 17 hours for that one day. And the daily production was 15 kilowatt hours. And there was some, were some clouds. As you can see, it's not total daily, um, smooth, this curve. And finally, there are some, when I have been installing these systems and talking about this, um, I have got some comments and there are general myths and so on. I, I think that uh, I can say that those myths below, they are, can be busted. I can say that uh, they are feasible also in Finland. They produce also electricity winter time, spring time, autumn time, and there are only those four, mon four months. November, uh, December, January and February that are not good ones. So you have to have backup for those. And PV systems are expensive and difficult to install. They are not difficult to install, they are very easy to install. They are not difficult, they are not expensive either and the prices of the system are going down all the time. And you cannot connect the PV system in parallel oper operation with the grid. You can get still this comment from some dis distribution companies. <laughs> they said you can do it. It's not true either. Solar panels do not tolerate snow load. Um, they they tolerate it quite well. No problems for me for last 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 winter. And and actually the panel manufacturers say that if you have even load distribution, you can put 500 kilos for each square drop meters of weight. So they should be able to tolerate the snow load. And solar panels do not generate. This is one myth that you can get everywhere. Solar panels do not generate as much electrical energy, energy during their lifetime as it used in panel manufacturing. Uh, it's not true either. It was in the beginning of the solar panels. But nowadays you can get something like, like the 10 to 1 energy, energy return from the solar panels. So you use one, one joule and you get 10 back for the lifetime. Okay.